Hello everyone, I'm Lam from Pandora's Palette. So today I'm in a new setting, let me know if you like it. Before we get into the video, I want to briefly talk about what is space clearing and why it is important. I know some of you guys probably automatically associate space clearing with ghost and spirit movie that you've been watching. <laughs> like if you, your house is haunted or have unwanted spirits, then you hire a priest or whatever to clear the ghost or the spirit. Well, space clearing that I'm going to share with you is kind of similar, but not just that, simply one aspect. <laughs> Obviously, if you guys have like a ghost in your house and whatever, this will work as well. <laughs> Today, I want to talk about like the other reasons why it is important to clear your house. So space clearing in one simple sentence is basically to replace or to get rid of the negative or stagnant energy in your house and replace it with new flowing fresh energy of love and light. So there is a few signs that you need to watch out to determine whether or not you need a space clearing. But of course I recommend all of you guys do it whether you think you need it or not you know especially if you've noticed a lot of bad events happening in your life or in your house constantly whether something wrong with your pet with your family with your health with your job it's just literally any areas of your life if you just always see a negative pattern or someone run into accidents especially if you move into a brand new home or a apartment if those negative patterns continues you need a space clearing but if you have been living your house for a while and those patterns just you know all of a sudden appeared then yeah it's also you need to do a space clearing without further ado let's jump right into the video so the first and the most common way to clear your space is of course using sage the process is called saging if you have never seen a sage before it looks like this <laughs> this is like a big one i got from like a health food store you can find it online or even whole foods i think they have that also and this shell i highly recommend you guys get it because it's just for safety reasons once you light the sage smoke is gonna come out right <laughs> you want to be able to catch all the ashes that falls from the sage itself so that you won't burn down your house <laughs> and also you can use the shell to put out the smoke and the fire otherwise it's just gonna keep burning <laughs> and we don't want that unless you want to use the entire sage then that's good as well so the first step before you start this process is to have a really clear intention to connect with the plant to give thanks and appreciate and give gratitude to the plant because plant has energy, it's doing your surface. So you want to have a really even energy exchange with the plant itself. And a clear intention is you want to know why you want to sage. You don't have to say this out loud, of course. You can just like think in your head or in your heart space, just thinking that anywhere that a sage smoke touches will automatically be transmuted. So all the negative energy and the stagnant energy in those areas that the smoke touches will automatically be transmuted into positive energy of love and light. So that is a really good intention. You can also have like more specific intentions. Um, for example, if someone is sick in your house, you know, you can just wish through the sage that they will get well, they will get better and the energy will flow better. And don't forget to open your windows and your doors because the last thing you want is to trap the negative energy inside of the room and in the house, all right? That's the whole point. You want to get rid of them, not to trap them inside of your house. <laughs> Another great tool that comes with staging is actually a feather. You can use feather or your hand to direct the smoke um, to any place that you want, basically. Like literally any corner and crevices and any hidden spots that you think feels a little bit heavy you want to focus on those areas of course if you don't like the smell of sage which i know some people don't like the smell of sage you can use sandalwood it's a little bit more 
tolerable to most people but to me like, I feel like the smell of sage is really earthy and it's really therapeutic and purifying so I love this smell <laughs> Another great tool to clear your space in your house is Tibetan singing bowl. I got this Tibetan singing bowl about 2-3 years ago at like a local gym fair. I always wanted the singing bowl because it's a great tool for meditation as well. However, I know a lot of people use this as a space clearing tool. Obviously, using a Tibetan singing bowl is so much more easier. All you need is like a stick or a mallet to play the singing bowl with. There's multiple ways to play it. You can either hit it with one stroke, like that, and then just let sound frequency carry itself throughout the space as you walk around the room. Or you can use the other end. It's just basically like your personal preference. Just listen to your heart, listen to your gut feeling and play it accordingly. You can do something like that just to play the symbol, but it's probably not very practical if you're just walking around the room. But if you're super good at playing Tibetan symbol, you can probably do that. I'm not that professional yet. <laughs> you have to have a clear intention to imagine as you walk around the room with this crystal symbol, think about what you want to replace the negative energy with. Think about your intention, thinking about your goal and to replace the bad energy with loving energy. The next tip is great for anyone who travels a lot. Sometimes you just go into a hotel, just feel very heavy and creepy and it might be haunted or the person who left there before wasn't very pleasant or horrible things has happened there, okay? So those are situations you will need this technique. This technique is super easy, anyone with two hands can do it. And a clear intention, of course. You know, that applies to all the tips I'm gonna share today. All you have to do is to clap your hand. So through clapping, you can tell whether the energy is good or bad in a space or hotel room in this case. What you do is clap. If the sound is like loud and clear, then that means the energy is okay and the energy is flowing. However, if the sound sounds like, obviously I can't duplicate that, but if it sounds muffled, like I can't duplicate that in this space because I guess the energy is good in this space. Um, if it's really like muffled and really heavy and really dense, really low sound, that means the energy is not very good. What you do is you keep clapping until the sound frequency goes up from low to high frequency. You can definitely hear the difference in the sound. If you just go into any room in your house that hasn't had much traffic, you haven't ha opened a window for a while, and then you clap your hand, it's gonna sound really like muted and dense. So like I said, keep clapping until the sound frequency goes up. That's the goal of this method. Obviously, having a clear intention will definitely help and add to the effectiveness of this method. <laughs> Have you ever had an urge to clean your room, your space, and to declutter, to donate the things that you don't need? If you feel that way, you should probably listen to your intuition and just do it because there's a reason for that. I am the same way. I've been feeling this urge to like just purge all of my belongings. I got rid of a lot of my old makeup and shoes and things like that. I'm still in the process of decluttering more clothing items I have. So decluttering, clearing your space like physically is the next tip. And it's probably the easiest tip for most people because you can do it yourself. Well, the other tips you can do yourself too, but you know, this way is kind of for some of your skeptics out there, you know, you don't want to use a crystal symbol or a sage or any other tools. Just clean your house or hire someone to clean your house. Donate the stuff that you don't need, even in your garage. A lot of people are like, what if I just put all this junk in my garage or under my bed or, you know, like in a separate room? <laughs> 
any of those clutter will kind of hinder the flow of the energy in your house. It also impacts your career, your relationship, basically a lot of aspects of your life. If you're really into feng shui, you probably will know more about it. If you feel that way, definitely do a big house cleaning, even underneath the furniture that you haven't moved for a while, move those furnitures. But trust me, you will feel so much better afterwards. It's just like a heavy rock just sinked. <laughs> There's something about it, you just feel so much more different. I'm speaking from experience, of course. And the clutter too, you know, just go to your closet, go to your kitchen, go to your pantry, just get rid of the things that you haven't touched in six months or so. Donate them to the people who do need them. When you live a more minimalist lifestyle, you will see that you will have more focus on something that's more important in your life. You will have more energy for it. You will be more effective and efficient in doing everything. When everything is cluttered and dirty, you can't function at your optimal ability. And one good metaphor that I just thought of is a traffic, right? On the freeway. Okay, freeway, everyone can relate. There is no traffic. You can probably drive around 70 or 80 miles per hour or even higher if you're on a carpool lane. But if there's a lot of traffic clutter in this case, you probably drive around 20 or even less. So, you know, clear the space and clear the path in your house, in your environment, or even your office is really important. The next one is kind of like a no-brainer. is to let in fresh air. When is the last time you open the window in your bedroom, you open the window in your house, in your kitchen, or in your living room, if you have a window there. Even in your bathroom, it's super important to open the window once in a while to let in fresh air and to let out the stagnant air to circulate the house is a lot different from air conditioning. Some of you guys would just say, oh, I just close all the windows and have the air conditioning running. It's not the same. To me, at least, this does not feel the same. So what you want to do is to basically periodically, maybe once a week at least, to open all the windows and even doors, if you have like a screen door to prevent the bugs or flies from coming into your house, you know, just open all the doors and windows, let in fresh air, let in some sunshine. If you have like heavy, super dark curtains, open up the curtains, let in some light, natural light. Those are such a gift to all of us. They will automatically lift up the energy in your space and also get rid of unwanted energy in your house. The next tip, anyone with a phone or a smartphone can do or a computer can do, you just literally go to YouTube. Nowadays, you can find everything on YouTube, not just my videos. <laughs> so go to YouTube, type in energy clearing or space clearing. Okay, see, I just typed in energy clearing. You can find meditations, you can find music. It's so much better to listen to those than listening to the radio or the news, which kind of adds to the heaviness of the energy in your house. Different music may appeal to different people, and the one that suits you the best is the one that you find most comfortable with and you love the most. So just find a few of them, listen to 30 seconds of the song or the frequency. If you really resonate with the frequency, then use that frequency. It's the perfect one for you. If you want to amplify the effect, just use like external speaker or if you have a speaker system in your house, just use that so that the sound can be heard throughout your whole house, your whole apartment. Just leave it plain it will clear the space for you. The next tip is kind of something I came up, but I'm pretty sure that you guys can find it. On the market, I'm probably not the only one who came up with this idea, is a sage spray or energy clearing spray. And especially for people who don't like the smell of smoke or who is allergic to smoke, this is a great alternative. What I did is I put a few smaller leaves of sage inside of this bottle I prefer like a darker bottle because you probably can reserve it a bit better. And I put spring water or filter water. Spring water is probably better because it's like 
more natural, more mineral rich now that you're gonna drink it but <laughs> it's probably better filter water you know sometimes it takes out all the mineral, it's not the same yeah, you spray water I call this my own holy water <laughs> sometimes you can even throw in like a selenite crystal or any clear quartz because it's great for purifying the space and just the energy in general the last step that is super essential that no one else can duplicate only you can is to program your sage water you have to program it through your clear intentions like i explained earlier imagine a stream of white clear lights or violet lights coming into this water spray and imagine the energy coming out of your hands your heart space and just imagine that energy emanates into the water and so infuse the water with the highest energy frequency possible and any space that's touched by this water will be cleared and will be purified you know just sit with the water for a little bit with loving intentions because love is the most powerful energy and tool in the whole world no matter how bad your energy is no one can escape the loving energy so yeah okay i saved the best for the last <laughs> are you guys ready for this all right the last tip right hold on Whew. i don't want to break this Look at this guys, this is a crystal harp. It works very similar to a Tibetan singing bowl, however this energy is so much more intense and you will find out like, just listen to this. See how cool the sound is? It's just so multi-dimensional. It's like it sinks into your skin, your body, your soul. How do you guys like it? It's intense, right? Every little two kind of resonates to our chakra system. You can just simply take this crystal harp and walk around your room. But obviously this one is much more expensive. It's probably one of my most expensive investments when it comes to spiritual practice. But I know how powerful the healing power is. Obviously, if you guys are interested, I can make some free crystal harp healing sessions for you guys. That's why I bought it not only to heal myself, heal my families and my friends, but also for you guys. Alright guys, I hope you find this video helpful. It might be a little bit edgy for some of you guys or some of you guys might be right at home with the topic I'm talking about today is something I'm passionate about is something I know is real I know it's helpful for a lot of people so I want to share that with you if you're new to my channel welcome you can know more about me by going to my channel at Pandora's Palettes and I have a trailer there just watch some of my videos. If you resonate with my message, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I upload video every Wednesday and every Sunday. I'm Lan from Pandora's Palette and I will see you in my next video. Bye!